This is Vanessa Joy here with Adorama TV. We have lots of photo education, so make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. Today, we are comparing the Canon 50mm 1.2 and the Canon 50mm 1.8 lenses. They're a pretty huge difference in price, but are they a huge difference in quality? That's what we'll find out. Let's start, what should we start with? Let's start with the little baby lens. Now, what I wanna do is try to keep the exact same settings, and because we want to really test the lens, we are using a very nice camera so that we know that you know the camera isn't coming into play in quality of, you know, anyway. So we are using the Canon 1DX Mark III. Right now, my camera of choice. And it definitely looks like a really cute lens on here. <laughs> All right. Let's get our settings. I want to keep the same settings, so we're going to be in manual, dialing everything in, including my Kelvin. I have right now ISO, ISO 200, 1.8 on the aperture, because I do want to be as low as I can on both of the lenses. Uh, and then maybe we'll test one with a higher aperture. I think that makes sense. And 1 60th of a second. And my white balance is dialed in at 5,400. So let's take some shots. Nice. Uh, come a little closer. Nice. This is actually producing some pretty gorgeous stuff. I'm like not mad at it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm mad at the branch. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Rob was in my light. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm like, why did my exposure change from what I had it set up? <laughs> Okay, so we got some pretty good shots here. I like what I'm seeing so far. Let's take a couple more, actually, horizontal. You know it'd be fun? Just to pretend these are real and play with them a little. If you come up a little, just as your eyes pop so much. Yep. Look a little bit this way. Yeah, let's do just like that. And then eyes back to me. Gotta love playing with fake branches, right? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and switch to the 50 millimeter 1.2. Definitely larger, definitely heavier, so that is a factor. And let's try to take some of the same exact pictures. So we'll get a few horizontal, get a few with a lot of foreground in here. Love it. Okay, let's take a look right off the bat. Now this is me looking at the back of the screen, but hey, that's where we're gonna start. Well, I have to say, I definitely see a little bit of clarity difference. So this is a 50 millimeter 1.2. That's a 50 millimeter 1.8. All right, so same settings, just a little bit of a difference. Now we're gonna notice more of a difference probably when we bring it up on the computer screen but I think this is a good place to start. All right, let's take a couple more pictures, but now going to a higher aperture and see if we notice a difference there. Now I am up, not a super high aperture, because I don't want to go super high on my ISO, because then that's gonna play into it, but I'm at 2,500 on my ISO and 8.0 on my aperture. Actually, you know what, let's just go down. We're not, no one's really moving here, so let's go F11 and 60th of a second, cool. Now, the foreground's definitely gonna be a little bit different in these, but. Perfect. I gotta remember to actually hold still and take pictures, because usually I move and then the pictures are blurry. <laughs> nice. We could put this down for now, since it's not as fun with a high aperture. Take a little step this way. Yeah, perfect. Actually, I'm gonna back up. Good, take a baby step back, sorry, right there. We've got some orange ambient light in the background we want to hide. So let's go ahead and switch to the 1.8. And take some more and see what we got. I don't know how well this is gonna go if I end up being like, yeah, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on the lens. <laughs> Take a little step forward, and Rob, can you go a little step back because you're in our light again? Take a step this way, and then towards me. Yep. Nice. Let me just, okay, perfect. Mm. 
love it. Let me take a couple more with these because uh, the videographer was in the light and they were too dark. Okay. Perfect. Nice. All right, so let's take a look. All right, now here I'm definitely noticing a difference with just the clarity in general. So this right here is the 1.8 and this is the 1.2. So it almost has like a little bit more of a muddiness to it. Now it's not a crazy difference, I have to say. I'm pretty happy. I'm not noticing a huge difference between the two. Now we are shooting in ideal circumstances, meaning it's not low light and I don't have to struggle for focus. And where you'll notice the difference between the 1.2 and the 1.8 is when you're trying to search for uh, focus in a low light scenario. This is not that. But as far as image quality goes, I'm pretty impressed with that 1.8. So if you are a photographer that's looking to buy one of your first prime lenses, the 1.8, not a bad choice. And there's also a 50 millimeter 1.4 that I don't have on me right now. So the big thing is, hey, it's not your tools as much as it is the photographer that's using them. So as long as you know how to use your equipment, get them in good light, know the capabilities of your lenses, I think you'll be happy. All right, so I pulled these photos into Lightroom and to be honest, I had to come over here and take a look when I did the lens corrections to see which lens shot what. So this right here is the 1.8 and this one is the 1.2. This one right here is the 1.8 and this one here is the 1.2. Now these are all raw files. There is nothing in them you know, that I've corrected except for adding the lens corrections. So something to note, it's not really doing a lot. I'll just toggle on and off so you can see and take a look. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on all of these images. Let's actually go a little bit more. This was shot again with the 1DX Mark III and this particular picture was at 1.8 and this is the 1.8 lens. Let's go ahead to the other photo. All right, there we go. And then we can actually put these two side by side so we can take a look. There is a little bit more clarity, I would say, with the 1.2 lens. You have a little bit more detail. You can see the shadow detail. There's a little bit more detail. And you have more highlights, you know, high to low. So if you look at the same spot here, from the high to the low parts. So that's just my observing. Let's go ahead and bring up the other two photos here. Again, I haven't done anything to any of these. Now this one on this side is the 1.8 while this is the 1.2. So same kind of thing, you almost have like more of a muddiness here and the color there's a difference as well. So I'm really getting more of a range of color here. You can see more of the reds and oranges in her skin tone. There's not quite as much information in the color it seems on the other photo. So just some things to look at overall, you know, it's not killing me i have to say like the difference and granted we are using an amazing camera to look at these you have to take these photos but just something to look at i don't know all right well you know what i think i'm gonna go ahead and just edit my favorite photo which is mm, i think i think this one and that's kind of mostly because i think that'll make a good thumbnail so let me just pull that in develop module and let's get editing with my presets and do a little face retouching too. Looking for some inspiration? Then make sure you download my free posing inspiration guide. It's full of ideas for individuals, couples, and groups. Grab it in the link below. So that was our fun comparison with these two lenses. Definitely impressed with what's coming out of this 1.8 lens. And again, this is a much lower price. So if you're first starting out, definitely not a bad lens to get. And I typically tell people to get this lens as a compliment to say the Canon Rebel T7. 
it'll help you out in lower light even if it's not going to focus as fast it's going to let more light into the camera which will help you have higher shutter speeds if you need or lower isos so i hope that is giving you a nice preview of these two lenses side by side make sure that you hit subscribe here at arama i'm vanessa joy i'll see you next time